Hello and welcome to the very first Tesco Baby Club video chat in association with My Family Fever and Mother and Baby. I'm Lara Palamudian, I'm the Deputy Editor of Mother and Baby, the UK's number one parenting magazine and website. Today we'll be talking to a panel of experts about your baby weaning and feeding questions. With me today I have Dr Sarah Temple, a family GP with a special interest in mother and baby bonding. Rebecca Shiko, a child development and parenting expert and co-founder of the Essential Parents Company. And Katie Fordham, nutritionist for Danone Nutrition, Early Life Nutrition. In this video, we'll be answering your questions about allergies, intolerances, dental care and safety. Thank you to everyone who's sent in questions through social media and Kate Fever's My Family Fever blog. We've tried to answer as many as possible, so do look out for your name or Twitter handle. So let's move on to our questions, which are firstly for Dr. Sarah Temple. Um, Sarah, the first question from Lucy Bishop is, I'm worried my son may have an egg allergy as my husband had a severe egg allergy as a child. He's now nearly 10 months and I haven't given him anything egg-based yet. When would you suggest I try some and under what conditions? So I think she should first go and talk to her health visitor or her GP. Now it's quite likely then what will happen is the, uh, either the health visitor or the GP will take a detailed history and particularly looking at um, whether her baby's had any skin problems or any eczema or any itchiness or any swelling up or anything like that because it's um, you know, actually it's quite easy to be exposed to egg even if she hasn't actually given him egg you know, knowingly in his diet. And um, the, uh, they'll probably then suggest that he goes for skin prick testing I would think, especially if mum is that worried about it. And that's a very simple test. Um, they'll um, uh, put a little blob on the skin and then um, prick the skin to sit and then wait for a, for a quarter of an hour or so to see whether the child reacts. And uh, she'll then be able to get the proper advice as to when she should um, first introduce eggs into the diet. Um, so I've got another food question here from Kate Bryan. She asks, are there any foods I should not let my 14 month old try? She's keen to try most things and loves sitting at the table with us. Any tips on how I can get her to stop throwing food? And I think Rebecca, you're the best person to answer this one. I suppose the kind of foods that might be um, a problem are kind of things that are high choking hazards. So the general recommendations are that you don't give any children under the age of five whole nuts to eat. In my experience, I'd say popcorn's always a bad one. I find myself choking on myself. So any that you think are really hard to clear your throat with, a little baby that age might have a bit of a problem. But then on the other hand, I'd say don't worry too much because often you'll see babies gag and they have a very sensitive gag um, reaction. And it doesn't mean that they're always choking. But if you're just careful about chopping up foods like spherical fruits, you know, tomatoes and things that might go down, you should really be able to, you know, expose them and try out lots of different foods. And that brings us on to our next question. Both Joe Smith and Joanne Darnell told us they're worried about their babies choking. So, um, Dr. Sarah Temple, what could you explain the difference between gagging and choking? I think the mum really needs to think first, is this child choking? Now, a baby that's choking will be distressed. And uh, what you'll notice often is that they'll be um, you know, waving their arms and legs around in the same way that they would be if they were crying, but not making a noise. And they'll also change colour. And it is an emergency. And so I think if they've got any doubt in their mind, they need to treat it as if the baby's choking. But in principle, what you need to do is, is put them onto your leg and hit them on the back to, um, to help dislodge uh, whatever is causing the choking. Um, I don't know that either of you have anything to say about the gagging. I, th I think you'll find actually on the Tesco Loves Baby Club website we have a, a choking clip with St John Ambulance uh, which again as Sarah said is you kind of lying them down so their head is lower than the rest of their body and uh, five sharp slaps to the back and often what you'll find in the early days is if you think possibly are they choking you probably will do quite a few whipping them out of the uh, you know, high chair to give them a quick back slap and they'll often bring food up. Another thing to say about babies is that they're often more likely to choke on liquids than food. So don't think that just because they're drinking a liquid, it's, there's nothing stuck in their throat. Little babies find it really hard to bring uh, up liquids. So as long as you can really help them by getting their head down lower than their kind of bottom and it's easier to rest them along your thigh, um, it's a ch you know, you can often clear the airway really quickly, but they will do a lot of gagging and 
that isn't doesn't mean food's trapped in their in their windpipe. It means that food's gone a little bit too far back, and it's a very natural survival reflex to bring food forward back into the mouth. So you'll see a lot of that, and it's really nerve wracking. Um, and you just have to always supervise babies when they're eating. Don't leave them uh, to eat by themselves. Be careful of choking hazards. And then if you're if in doubt, as Sarah says, jump in and do the first aid um, to remove the, the, the thing that you think might be caught in their throat. Um, from the Tesco Baby and Mother and Baby website, we know that baby's teeth and oral health is very important to parents. Um, Dr. Sarah, when should you start cleaning your little one's teeth and how many times a day? And is fluoride a good idea for babies at this stage? The baby's, baby teeth can be cleaned right from the first time that they come through, um, but particularly from four, five, six months on. And um, uh, you can get special little um, things you can buy in, in the supermarket that you can put on your finger to help clean. I must say sometimes I used to clean my babies on with my finger, as long as you've got washed your hands then clean. There's milk teeth. Um, toothpaste which has got less fluoride in it and that is the safest thing to use um, for a young baby and again you if, you if you're not understanding what you're seeing on the shelf then it's worth just having a quick word with the pharmacist and they'll be able to guide you as to what you need um, on that note uh, we know water is a big issue also with many parents wanting to know how to keep their babies and toddlers hydrated um, particularly when abroad this summer um, of course lots of kids love sugary drinks what, mm. what would be your tips um, well, it is uh, obviously an issue, and it's particularly an issue if you're going overseas, and uh, especially if you're travelling to a country, say Africa or other, some other country like that, where you're not certain that the tap water is clean. Um, in general terms, the, the water does still need to be boiled for, um, for a baby under a year of age, and um, even if it's bottled water. And you will need to be careful with bottled water that the mineral content is safe for a young baby. And that generally means looking for the sodium, which is, should be marked on the bottle. And the, the, um, the, it, sometimes it's, called, it's NA is the code for it. And the sulfates. So you do need to be a little bit careful of that. And you need to be very careful of the hygiene for it. And if you can encourage water rather than uh, soft drinks or sweet drinks, that is better for your child and better for them for their teeth and dental care as well. So thank you so much to Dr. Sarah Temple and our panel. And remember, if you have any other questions, you can find lots of answers at the Tesco Loves Baby Club website.